Guys, this is my second attempt at reassessment on kinematics. I chose question 18 from the book, and the question asks, The forces on a small airplane with a mass of 1,160 kilograms in the horizontal flight heading eastward are as followed. Gravity is 16.000 kilonewtons downward. Lift is 16.000 kilonewtons upward. Thrust is 1.800 kilonewton eastward, and drag is 1.400 kilonewton westward. At a time of zero, at a time of zero, the plane speed is 60.0 meters per second. If the forces remain constant, how far does the plane travel in the next 60 seconds? So I wrote down my known values here: gravity 16 kilonewtons down, lift is 16 kilonewtons up, thrust is 1.8 kilonewtons east. Drag is 1.4 kilonewtons west. Uh, initial time zero. Speed 60.0 or initial velocity um, 60.0 millise uh, meters per second. Final time 60 seconds, and the mass of the airplane is 1,160 kilograms. <clears throat> so the first thing I do here is I find the forces uh, <clears throat> in the x direction. Um, so that would be thrust minus drag, um, which is 1.800 kilonewtons minus 1.400 kilonewtons, uh, which gives me 0 0.400 kilonewtons. Um, but what I, what I decided to do is I decided to convert it to get, make it 400 newtons. All right. So the next thing I'm doing here is <clears throat> I'm finding the, I'm using Newton's second law. Um, to find the acceleration of it. So what I do is I get my formula, f of x in the x direction is equal to m times a, um, which is 400 newtons is equal to 1,160 kilograms times a. So then to get my acceleration, I divide both sides by 1,160 kilograms, which gives me my acceleration of 0.3448 meters per second squared. <clears throat> and the question is asking for, <clears throat> Um, at t is equal to zero, the plane speed is 60 meters per second. If the force remains constant, how far does the plane travel in the next 60 seconds? So we're looking for how far the plane travels in 60 seconds. So with these values right here, I'm able to use the formula of um, x is equal to um, vo, t, t being time, plus um, half of acceleration times time squared. So I plug in for my velocity, 60 meters per second times the time, which is 60 seconds, plus one half times the acceleration that I found earlier up top right here, uh, the 0.3448 meters per second squared times the, the time, which is 60 seconds squared. Uh, well, 60 seconds, and you, I'm squaring that whole um, one half at squared. Kind of Um, so that ends up giving me um, 4,220.64 meters, um, but then I decided to convert it to kilometers, um, so it gives me 4.22064 kilometers.